my mind constantly, yeah Without you, girl, I'm obsolete Oh, I like you, girl, don't stop me, yeah Girl, you know I like you, you want to stun me, yeah Girl, I swear that I want to, it's you that I want to Girl, don't stop me, it's you that I need, oh It's you that I need, oh Girl, don't stop me Hello everyone, long time no see, it has been ages, right? I know. Thank you for joining me, hope you guys are doing well. So I'm going to show you guys how I achieve a purple hair. So let's get straight in, hope you guys enjoy. Details of the hair, the products and everything that I use in this video will be linked down below. I will leave all the descriptions to all the products I use down below. So please do check it out if you guys want to know what products I use. So to get straight into the colouring. I am going to use a blue black I will also be using the violet gem which I didn't show in this video I forgot to show you guys the violet gem and um, the shade and how it looks like and all of that but I will be using African violet I will be using indigo blue but anyways I will be using that as well so the majority I pretty much mix all the colors together but I tried to make sure that I had most of the African violet as well as the violet gem just so that I could really get that purpley tone to it as well and I used just about one whole bottle of the African gem I also used about two bottles of the violet gem I used a touch of the blue black and I used let's just say a half of the indigo blue to achieve the color which you guys are seeing right now unfortunately you guys can't see the color well enough because of the lighting where I was um, where I was doing this wig it wasn't as bright in terms of the lighting so you guys can't see well um, how this um, hair was looking but just to describe the shade it was more of like a purple like a really dark purple with a bit of with a bit of um blue to it as well so it's pretty much a mixture of both and that was pretty much what i was going for and i really focused those shades really at the back of my wig just so that i can have like that nice transition from like a really dark uh deep bluish purplish tone and then once you get towards the front basically mainly around like the frontal closure area uh, I wanted it to have a bit of a ombre to it so I would use that same shade that I used uh, earlier the the shades that I kind of mixed together to achieve that kind of dark bluish dark purple shade and then halfway within mix uh, halfway within applying that I would then use the violet gem alone and then just kind of like focus that halfway into the tip of the hair to create that nice ombre effect, that nice transition from like a deep, dark, bluish, purplish shade to more of like a, you know, brighter purple, violet, gem kind of shade, which was what I was going for. I wanted to have like different highlights to it, different low lights to it. I didn't want it to be just the same um, shade throughout if that makes sense so that was pretty much what i was trying to achieve when making this wig so i'm gonna go straight in and finish off by actually applying the same shade that i applied earlier the deep uh kind of purpley bluish shade that I mixed earlier and I'm going to apply that mainly at the roots just to deepen the shade of the root. Now I tried to apply a little bit more of the blue black as well because I wanted that section of my closures to be a lot more darker. I wanted it to look a little bit more natural. I didn't want the root to look too overpowering. So I added a bit more of the blue black just to make the um, roots deeper. And then I'd go in with the African Violet along with the Violet Gem, mix the two together and then, you know, um, 
just kind of apply that halfway into the tip to create a nice transition to the um, to the look to the hair basically so that's pretty much what I did and I when I'm applying the dyes onto the uh, root I make sure that I apply it in the lightest way possible to avoid the dyes bleeding onto my lace because I'm trying to make sure that the wig looks as natural and as realistic as possible and when you have um, hair dyes that's bleached onto the uh, lace it just kind of looks you know messed up and that's not what we want so this is the final the finishing product so this is how it looks like i'm just pretty much showing you guys how it looks and you guys can see the different shades the different highlights you see a bit of the purple you can see a bit of the blue you pretty much see the a bit of everything and you guys can see the a little snippet of how my lace is looking as well so with that being said i left my wigs I let my le I left oh I can't speak English I let my wig sit for about let's say eight hours so I'm saying I let my wig sit overnight and surprisingly the um the hair dye did not bleed at all which to me is a bonus so I let it uh sit overnight washed it in the morning before heading to work and here I am just kind of cutting the hair I wanted it to be more of a bob but then I realized I have too many bobs at home so I just wanted to just have like a clean cut to the wig and you know just kind of um, make sure that everything is just nice and looking neat I did straighten it but I straightened it off camera because I didn't feel the need to actually film that part. So this is pretty much the final result as you guys can see. You guys can see the different shades of purple. You guys can see a bit of blue to it. A bit of violet. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is kind of like my autumn winter kind of wig. This is kind of like my go-to autumn winter wig with a bit of colour to it. Because I kind of got sick and tired of black. So yeah that's pretty much that so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think give me a thumbs up share comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and i'll talk to you guys soon take care stay blessed see you guys in my next video peace guys